What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at the app library for your iPhone. What it is, how to use it, and how to maneuver your apps in and out of the app library. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So for those new to the iPhone or for those just getting used to using the app library, it might be confusing what exactly the app library is. Essentially what the app library is, is just a collection and organization of all your apps on your iPhone. It wasn't always there on the iPhone and the apps on your iPhone used to be organized only by your home screen layouts. App library gives you an easy and organized way of accessing your apps to the categories that Apple dictates that your app has falls into. It's essentially just folders for your apps. However, they're organized very quickly when you download the app and there's few ways of accessing and viewing all of the apps on your iPhone. So now that we know what it is, we'll figure out how we can get there. App library actually is the rightmost screen on your home screen on your iPhone. So if you swipe all the way to the right here, you can actually access app library. You'll know it's there because you can't swipe further from the app library and you'll see the collections of folders that the app library consists of. So once again, in order to access app library, what you want to do is swipe right from all of your home screens until you reach the app library. You'll know that you reach the app library by looking at the dots at the bottom of the home screen. When you reach the rightmost app after swiping left, you'll notice that the app library pops up. So if we can't decide which folders the apps fall into in the app library, and we can't decide the name or organization of the folders, you might be thinking to yourself, what is the point of the app library and why does it exist on iOS in the first place? I was also confused when initially looking using app library and the answer is that prior to the app library there was no real way of accessing or viewing all of the apps on your iPhone in an organized way it was actually quite difficult without having very cumbersome and very cluttered home screens of viewing all the apps on the on your iPhone with the app library we get an organized way of viewing both all of your apps and also freshly installed apps as well and there's a few ways of accessing and viewing all of the apps as a whole in the app library that make it much more organized than it was prior to the existence of app library so in short what app library does is just gives you an easy way of accessing accessing your apps and as we'll see here later in the video it allows you to customize your home screen in a much easier way in terms of pulling apps from the app library and putting them on respective home screens to your choosing so as you can see here all the apps are organized in a specific folder and there's actually you can access each of the four apps in, in the individual folders just by one tap if you would like to see more apps in the folder you can click on the folder name and that folder will open up and then you'll see all the apps for in this case there's multiple apps in health and fitness that are organized in the health and fitness folder there's usually four apps or three apps that you can actually access without accessing the folder and these are shown at the top of each folder to access the contents of the folder you want to hit on the smaller four apps to view all of the apps in the folder And as you can see, if you hold down on the app library, you don't actually get the option to move the apps around. However, the little X's do pop up on each of the individual apps. And if you hit the X, you'll notice that you ha actually have the chance to delete that particular app. This isn't deleting it from the app library or the location on the home screen. This is actually deleting it from the iPhone itself. So if you want a quick way of accessing all of the apps on your iPhone and also deleting apps on your iPhone, you can do so through the app library. Similarly, if you would like to add a particular app from the app library to a home screen, to the location on the home screen of your choosing, what you can do is actually hold down on the app itself and a sub menu pops up with three options. One is delete app, 
two is share app using the share features on the iPhone and three of course is to add to home screen so if you add to home screen there it's gonna get moved to the first home screen and then from there you can move the app to your liking using the controls on the home screen so if you'll see here I can move the app from individual home screens just like I would normally after I've added it to the home screens from my app library Finally, we'll go into some other navigational features of the app library. At the top of the app library, there's a search field where you can use to type in the name of an app that you'd like to search for. You can also scroll alphabetically up and down through the apps in your iPhone after you tap on the search field. So this makes a very useful way of viewing all the apps, both through folder view in the app library and through alphabetical view by scrolling vertically after you tap on the search field. Similarly, you have access to the alphabet on the right here where you can quickly scroll through an individual letter that allows you to quickly access the apps if you know what the first letter of that app is. Overall, this is a lot better than what it was previously where you couldn't actually access in an easy way all the apps on your iPhone. Prior to the app library, you had to go into your settings and then there, from there, you would be able to see an alphabetized version of all your apps. With the app library, it's a, just a quick scroll right and then a hit to the search bar to quickly access an alphabetized listing of all of your apps. This might not seem like such a big deal, but I was amazed as to how convenient it was, especially for apps that I don't use quite often, but I still remember the name of. The easiest way for me to find that app without actually organizing a very specific place on that on my home screen for that app was actually to scroll all the way right, right into my app library and find it either through the app library search field or by a quick swipe up and down on the alphabetized listing to the right here. It really makes finding lesser used apps less of a burden and of a search. So there you have it everyone, just a quick and easy tutorial on how to use App Library and what it is. If you're seeing App Library for the first time, it might be the most might not be the most intuitive thing on exactly what its function is. But if you take into consideration that prior to App Library, there was no real way of easily seeing all the apps on your iPhone, you'll understand why App Library exists. Overall, I'm quite pleased as App Library really does help me find an app much more quickly than when the iPhone didn't have app library. If there's a quick app that I'm looking for, usually I can find it either by category or by a quick tap on the search bar to quickly find that app, either by the first letter or by searching it through by typing it out. So what do you think? Are there other ways such as that's found on Android? So what do you think? Are there other ways of organizing the apps? Is the Android's version a lot better? Leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.